pretty wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. It works. <clears throat> it works, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Brigadier Raggi. I'm uh, Chair of Peace Operations at the Carabinieri Office College in Rome. And I have a question for Mr. Mazadeh. Assalamu alaikum. And uh, I'm very interested in Israeli Palestinian issue. I have served one year in Khalil Hebron as a human rights observer many years ago. And uh, I realize how difficult is the situation. I could tell many stories, some of them very contradictory. But that, just I would like to quote an interview of an Hamas representative we invited in our mission. I used to be part of the TIPH missions, the Temporary International Presence in the city of Hebron, where I used to be press information officer and even human rights observers and an analyst. We used to invite everybody, settlers, Hamas, and so on. And I remember this statement from a Hamas representative saying, every Israeli citizen is an enemy. We must kill all of them, even children. It was 27 years ago. I could tell you this <laughs> because it has taken more than two decades to arrive to the 7 October attack. I'm not elaborating, of course, on the outrageous death toll that the conflict has brought to us. It's evident to everybody. And it raises issues on international humanitarian law, protection, human rights, and so on. But my question is very simple. Do you think that there is a feasible and relatively easy way to bring the two communities, Israeli and Palestinians, on the same way, sharing a human rights approach to life an effective one, considering that I have seen so many difficult situations. Consider two of our cybers were, were killed by Zadina al Kassan, and uh, we had other situations I'm not going to mention. But they design a very complicated m situation. Do you really think there is a feasible way? Not to solve the conflict. The sol solving the conflict, of course, is, it will be the outcome. But talking about the same values that, as you mentioned, it, have been exported by the Western perspective of human rights. Thank you very much. Ambassador, maybe uh, this is a very specific question. Maybe we come to you just to pick up on that very briefly, and, uh, and then we'll open it up again. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much for, for this question. And may I also, uh, also reciprocate uh, by saying that what you heard from the Hamas representative 27 years ago. Um, we have heard them over the course of past 10 months from uh, the prime minister and, uh, of Israel and uh, his, uh, uh, his right-wing ministers that uh, it is the right of Israel to kill every Palestinian and wipe them out. And this is why we are now at uh, the ICJ with the genocide uh, uh, crime being uh, um, advocated there. So basically, uh, it's not just one party. I think it's both parties uh, who have promised to, uh, you know, you know, um, to act in in, in this uh, negative uh, uh, way. Um, just to answer your question, um, look, I think that um, we had many opportunities, and the um, key element that we keep missing is that we do not have a proper political will to have a peace accord or peace treaty ending this conflict. I believe once we are put on track with a clear plan, with clear endings, with the engagement of the United States of America and the European Union and the international powers, to end this conflict, then I believe that the values of people would amalgamate and come together. Uh, you know, we are now we are now being captured in this in this uh, hatred uh, or hate and 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 evil cycle that nobody is is thinking properly and actually coming to the conclusion conclusion that I could tell from your question that it's unfeasible, it's not going to happen, then what is the answer? The answer is more war 
and more crisis. And it, it's not going to be only within the Palestinian Israeli uh, 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 area or uh, dossier, but it's going to escalate and go to other regions in, uh, in, 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 in our region. And let me remind you that this issue is not just about the Middle East. It's not about Yemen or about Lebanon or about, you know, Sahel, whatever. It is about Europe. It is about the security of Europe and the security of NATO. And as long as we, we shed away, we look away from the elephant in the room that this matter has to end now, and there should be a recognition of a Palestinian state from all countries, like from Norway and Spain and, and Ireland, and I call on other member states of, the, of, of NATO. Why not recognize uh, uh, the, the, the Palestinian state? You recognize Israel, recognize Palestinian state, and have an ending with key indicators, key performance indicators with clear endings. I do believe then the value system that we are all worried about will amalgamate, will come together. I'm not worried about that, but we have to start. Okay, thank you very much. Other comments, questions? Yes, just right here, please. <laughs> 